struggling on the way in here on the microphone to on the megaphone to find out some chat and then we actually got these uh, got these parts in the audience but with awesome chat. GPPA is not what we want to see, keep your hands off our democracy. GPPA is not what we want to see. Keep your hands off our democracy. Multinational investor treaty should not replace the treaty of Waitangi. I'd like, to, I'd like to introduce Professor Bob Lloyd from the Physics Department at the University uh, to speak about the uh, implications of this for the environment. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about climate change. Climate change is a defining issue of our time, as many people have said. Ben Ki Moon from the UN has recently been pleading with government to start reducing their emissions. Science is unequivocal, he said. There is now no doubt. My calculations show that if we don't start decreasing emissions by 5% per annum by the end of next year, we will almost certainly go above 2 degrees. The situation is dire, and it's obvious that governments cannot act to prevent the collapse of our environmental system. I don't know if anyone saw Tremaine's fantastic cartoon in the paper the other day about Virgin Galactica. It was great. Virgin Galactica smashed up on the Mojave Desert in pieces. And there's a commentator saying, well, we'll have to rename it now. Um, we can use the Galactica path anyway. That was well Don't worry, it took me a while to get it too. It was early in the morning. The Earth is now rapidly becoming a non-virgin. The problem, as I see it, is that our present economic system requires continual economic growth. In addition to this, it protects vested interests. Our present economic system is predicated on an extreme version of economics called neoliberal economics. Free, unfettered trade, legislated by instruments such as the TPPA, is a cornerstone of neoliberalism, an ideology that promotes vested interests and perpetrates the fantasy that the market will solve all problems, including climate change. If the TPPA is signed, then it will curtail New Zealand's ability to put in place CO2 reductions that are desperately needed that Ben Ki-moon is asking governments, including the New Zealand government, to put in place. It is clear from the latest IPCC reports, for instance, that we cannot burn what we know of the oil, coal and gas that's in the ground. We can only burn a small fraction of it. With this in mind, as the, last, as the last poet said, it's rank stupidity to allow oil companies onto our coast to explore for yet more oil. <laughs> the present government is fully behind such exploration. But such people, who, if they did take protests as I did earlier, earlier this year and tried to prevent the oil drilling, then Signing the TPA would mean that the international companies would sue the New Zealand government for not preventing people like me from protesting. As governments around the world adopt more and more neoliberal policies, the CO2 emissions are going up. It's no coincidence that China, China's coal emissions are skyrocketing at the moment. They started skyrocketing after Bill Clinton signed a trade agreement with China. And just after, in 2001, China signed the World Trade Agreement. When trade agreements are put in place, economic activity goes up and so do emissions. Finally, there's moves now. There's not too many scientists like myself who are speaking up against things like climate change. But the government now is getting worried that there are people starting scientists are starting, and so they're putting in place measures to limit free speech by scientists. The neoliberal ideology of the free market is a dog. It's a travesty that has gained international preeminence because
because it increases inequality and benefits the 0.1% of the capital earning population of the world that pays newspapers and propaganda people to put in place measures to support it. It is hard to overstate the urgency of not signing the TPPA and putting in place measures to reduce inequality, to put in place a rational economic system that protects the environment and safeguards New Zealand's future. Please stop the TPPA. Thank you.